welcome to Brussels, where EU leaders are discussing today the Millennium Development Goals. Keeping in theme with the World Cup in South Africa, EU leaders, played by members of Concord, the European Confederation of Development NGOs, um, will be trying to score the Millennium Development Goals. Better aid performers, including the UK, Sweden, Denmark, Spain and Belgium, will try to score a goal against poverty. They will face a wall of bad aid performers. Germany, Italy, France and Poland. Join us to see who will score the Millennium Development Goals. More aid and better aid is going to be essential for achieving the MDGs. 2010 so far has been a disappointing year. Concord Aid Watch report showed that 19 billion euros has gone missing this year in Europe's aid targets. We know that could have saved an extra 3 million lives. What we're looking for European leaders today is a credible recommitment to achieving their aid targets so that Europe can be an MDG champion and can restore the credibility that it needs towards developing countries. Equally as important uh, as the quantity of aid is the quality of aid. We want to make sure that aid works for people, for the recipients. So what does this mean? It means, first of all, democratic accountability, making sure that civil society, the parliaments, the people in developing countries are involved in the decision making around aid. They know how to make it work the best. Secondly, it's about transparency. It's making sure that they have access to information that allows them to participate in these processes. We are asking politicians to turn this financial crisis into an opportunity. There are various innovative ways that they can do it. One clear way is the financial transaction tax. It is a small tax of 0.01% that could raise up to 1 billion euro per year in Europe alone. And that is desperately needed money to finance the Millennium develop Development Goals and development in general. Of course it's not only about more and better aid, it's also about um, better policies that all EU policies should be coherent with the development objectives. Um, what do we mean by that? We mean that trade policies, fisheries policies, agriculture policies also should be in line with the development objectives and not undermining policies within development countries. that we have Sweden coming up now. Today's stunt is clearly showing that too many EU member states are shooting wide of the mark and blocking global efforts to score the Millennium Development Goals. At today's European Summit, EU leaders must show how they're going to keep their commitments and how they will score the Millennium Development Goals. Now it's over to them.